So out of the three of us, how many have Maneater by Nelly Furtado going through our heads right now? Um, I thought of it at least twice over the course of the day, thanks to you mentioning it. Not fucking me. I hate Nelly Furtado. Yet, at the same time, I feel like you definitely, maybe even involuntarily, thought of the song Maneater. By Hall and Oates. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the classic 80s music video. That yeah. I, yeah, I watched um, it today, actually, in anticipation yeah. of this. Yeah. It still um, holds up. It well, it doesn't does. really hold up. I shouldn't say that, but it's, you know. So anyways, we're here to talk about man-eating. Is that right? That is correct. <laughs> yes, the eating of men, and I guess sometimes women. It's mm-hmm. actually it's actually not very distinct. Um, they're mostly just a sort of like screaming blur that like disappears inside your mouth, yeah. and then smaller chunks of them sort of float away once you're done. Yeah, which you can also chomp down on. But this is a game where you are a shark, right? Yes, that is correct. Laura Shark, um, you. St- I mean, not to spoil too much, but uh, at the start of the game, you you uh, play off, or, or you you start off essentially as like a uh, baby shark. And uh, yeah, you know, it's like do, one of those do, games. Do, 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 do. Exactly, yeah. And it's one of those games where you know you're. It's they they've called it a shark PG, and you're working your way through. Uh, I don't know what the final level is going to be, but you're working your way through a progression system uh, where you slowly get bigger, get stronger, get faster, acquire power-ups. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. I've been having fun with it. What's um, the goal? The goal is to shark harder? Um, actually, there's a particular person you're looking to eat. <laughs> yeah. Cause, Scaly uh, this- Pete? Yeah, Scaly Pete, because this is not just a tale of ravenous, insatiable hunger. This is a story of revenge. Um, in the tutorial, and you... Uh, it's, you it, yeah. So, sorry, it's actually kind of beautiful. Sorry to cut you off there. Go ahead. Yeah. No, because like you start the game when playing the tutorial as this one uh, big, terrifying shark, and then Scaly Pete catches you, hangs you upside down, and cuts a baby shark out of your guts. And then he, like, marks that baby shark. So he's like, oh, so I know what it looks like so I can track it later. But he says it in, like, a way, <laughs> way more Cajun accent because he is the most Cajun oh. human being ever captured in a video game. Without subtitles, like, you wouldn't be able to understand. Yeah, it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be gibberish. Yeah. Um, and um, so you, like, start out your life as the child that survived whereas the mother 100% did not and your like long term goal is to like find Scaly Pete because you start like the first thing you do when you're ripped out of your mother's body is bite off one of his fucking hands (laughs) hell yeah it's so so good too yeah so so you get a taste for his delicious flesh and then your your goal I guess is to you know get the rest of him so what kind of power ups are we talking about how do you shark more how do you get better at sharking well for example like the first one that you unlock or at least that i unlocked were these electric teeth and they're cool because they they are yeah they they aren't just like behind the scenes upgrades they are uh like physical upgrades as well so you'll see your shark's teeth changed to these like electrified chompers and um then you know there's things that like upgrade uh speed uh like object attacking strength i i I know uh one of the I think it was like the second or third upgrade I unlocked. It was, uh, it was like st- you have this like tail whip move, and uh, it increases the strength of that, so you can knock people off their boats quicker, get them in the water. That's really what you want to be focusing on when you're going after humans on boats. You want to be knocking them off the boats and getting them into the water. You know, easy prey. Um, yeah, yeah, a lot of power ups around that. Apparently, and this isn't something I've personally pulled off yet, but apparently when you're uh, fighting off hunters sometimes they'll chuck dynamite at you and if you time it right you can do the tail whip and knock it back into their boat (laughs) yeah that's nice that's nice i would i would imagine that that's a lot of fun but i can also imagine that that's very difficult because 
as much uh, fun as I've been having with the game, I've also been equally as frustrated with the camera. James, I don't know if you've been having camera issues with this game, but uh, a lot of the time it kind of has a mind of its own. And the enemies that you want to be focusing on, it doesn't focus on, even if you uh, click the button to seemingly lock onto them. Um, I find that the camera is just constantly bouncing around and I need to fight it almost uh, most of the time, let's say. Um, I find that if you just tried not to control it too accurately, like I find that like once your little targeting ret reticle f fixes on something, you can just kind of like mash that attack button and you'll get there. Like you don't need to aim or right. anything like that. And you, you it's just like, uh, okay, it's fine. But mm -hmm. like the only time I've ever had a problem is when you're like, fighting something in the water like a giant alligator for example and he like dives beneath you or above you and you're like fuck 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 and you just sort of have to like swivel around crazy fast and then it's just a matter of like getting a beat at him again before he like does a lunge or catches you in his gigantic jaws and then you have to like wriggle your way out mm -hmm. um, but like when you're fighting human beings it's you just approach from a distance swim up the targeting reticle lands on them and you just leap out of the water and sort of like bite your way forward until you've bitten them in half right. um, which is a money back guaranteed way to make very short work of the uh, like the bounty hunters I think mm -hmm. one of my, my proudest moments is because whenever a new bounty hunter comes on the scene you get like an introductory cutscene kind of thing so like there's this one where this guy's like, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get you. My name is this. I don't even remember his name. And it just pops up and like shows him like prepping like a, uh, a barrel bomb or something. And like seconds after the cutscene ends, I like leap up in the air, lock onto him, rip him off the boat and bite him in half. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like, well, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> like, like eventually they get smart enough to like be in boats that like, have like insides and outsides so they're like behind up the thing of glass so you can't just instantly kill them yeah yeah <laughs> no i love that about the game too the sort of like uh most wanted style list of unique characters to go after and uh it, i feel like the game has a lot of charm a lot of personality with things like this you know it's it certainly is run-of-the-mill and it's collection missions that it gives you uh, you're going to be doing a lot of go here and kill eight of this or, you know, collect ten of these. But uh, in spite of that, the the act of hunting prey, getting the kill, uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I've been a fan of this game. I, uh, I really like, um, you'll see people like on land or whatever. And um, you just sort of like leap out of the water, belly flop a couple of yeah. times, <laughs> and then they're just like they're so confused they're and scared. terrified. Yeah, <laughs> they're just like frozen in place, and they let you they let you like chomp one of their friends, go back into the water, hop back out, get the next friend, hop back in the water. By no means are the AI intelligent, um, but I mean I shouldn't say that the hunters the hunters can be aggressive. They can definitely uh, you know. They can they can put the pressure on so to speak it's easy to escape them in my experience like all oh, i'm i'm getting close to the end of the game and in my experience it's always been easy to escape hunters when it's time to um the only time i've i've come close to dying or died is when you kind of stick around longer than you should um but yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's it's just still like it's always fun chomp more people you know it's it's never been boring i haven't been bored once with the game yeah um there is uh one point where there was like a, like a hotel resort or something like that so it's like pretty pretty in land like there's like a walkway up to it and then there's like sidewalks and there's like a building i belly flop my way onto land like kind of like scooted in between a couple of buildings went around a corner still on land to find this one stubborn person and it's just like i just can't <laughs> just imagine the, the like the last thoughts in their head as they turn a corner and it's like <laughs> land shark <laughs> he just like flops towards them 
So yeah, on a scale and- of like Jaws to Sharknado, where's the tone of this game? Much more Sharknado. Much, yeah. much more Sharknado. Nice. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it, there's nothing like, you know, horror genre about this by any means. It's very much like a cartoony game, but it's gory. It's violent. You know, these the people explode in your mouth with this like satisfying crunch, and they like <laughs> they just turn into a fine mist. It's, <laughs> it's super satisfying. There's not a lot of mystery to the game. You kind of know exactly what you're getting when you go into it, but like, it's fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun hunting people as a shark, and like the swimming mechanics, I I find pretty good. Like when you've got just the fin up above the water or whatever, you can really hum along crazy yeah. fast. Yeah. Yeah, you do have a good sense of speed in the game, and like exploration is pretty fun too. I find that the map can be kind of confusing sometimes, but once you get into where you're trying to go and you're like, say, working your way through the sewers and you're diving down and going up and through corridors, yeah, I like the mechanics work really well. It's really smooth. And, uh, it's fun to operate the shark. It's never cumbersome. Also, and this is just a fun extra thing, the there's like a narrator like 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 it's uh one of those when animals attack shows yeah. and it's like it's chris parnell yeah like, if you're familiar yeah from uh, archer yeah archer and like he had a small role in 30 rock he's an snl alumni mm-hmm. yeah no, no he's, he's uh he's really good <laughs> yeah yeah no he's a great voice actor all the voice acting is really is, is really well done uh scaly pete we were talking about how difficult he is to understand but that dude is killing it. <laughs> whoever they got to do that that draw was just killing it he's hilarious so man man eater where do i get it how do i get it into my body how do i become the shark uh, I know it's, it's on everything isn't it yeah is that we've switch been, we've been playing it on pc but i think it's coming out for xbox one and ps4 as well yeah definitely on the system i i don't think it's coming to the switch but uh, everything else. And when does it release? This Friday, uh, May 22nd. And full review on the site, Rhett, I assume, some point. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Friday morning. Nice, get your biting our... pants on, everybody. Man Eater coming out this Friday. Check out the full review on godconnected.com. Always going to fight for the winner. Who are we to tell you? Make sure you call the Woodle or we can.